When it comes to electric vehicles, today no one can say that Korean automotive industry is short on ambitions. Hyundai Motor Group is collecting awards for their new EVs left and right. Domestic manufacturing is thriving, and by 2025, they have even promised to invest $10 billion in the US to boost the production there as well. In this episode of Automotive Territory, we'll review all the existing and upcoming electric cars and crossovers from South Korea. Arguably, these models have the best price-to-specifications ratio in the business. So subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and enjoy the world's most promising EVs. Genesis GV60 GV60 concludes the original trio of Hyundai Group's electric SUVs based on the dedicated 800V eGMP platform. Unlike the midsize Ionic 5 and EV6, this is a compact crossover that follows the athletic elegance identity. This means a Coupe SUV roofline, fixed wing rear spoiler, flush door handles, 19 through 21 inch wheel designs, and a beak inspired crest grille with two line headlamps. The Genesis GV60 will be available in two trims, advanced and performance, with a single rear or dual motor all wheel drive configurations both powered by the larger 77 kWh battery. The interior sports an intriguing mix of plant-based leather, Alcantara and fabrics derived from recycled PET bottles and fishnets. Besides a large dual-screen cockpit, the cabin leaves a lasting impression with a crystal sphere that does double duty as a shift-by-wire selector and vehicle's mode lights. Kia Niro EV As before, the revised Kia Niro is offered in three electrified versions, including a purely electric model. Scheduled to arrive to the US and Europe, it grows in size across all dimensions, adding 2 inches in length and 0.8 inches in width. The crossover adopts radically different exterior styling presented by the Habanero concept in 2019. The front fascia houses new angular headlights with the sharp LED DRLs, there is a revised grille and a repositioned charging port. This crossover looks more rugged thanks to the fresh black cladding, while its rear gets vertical boomerang-style taillights and dark-painted C-pillars. For now, Kia decided not to replace the drivetrain components of the CV, so it is still powered by a 201 HP front-wheel drive motor with 291 pound-feet. With 64.8 kWh, the model's battery is just slightly larger, but it does offer 14 extra miles, 253 in total. Inside the cabin, you can expect a two-spoke steering wheel, recycled upholstery materials, and dual 10.3-inch screens for the dashboard and infotainment. Hyundai Ionic 5 This midsize SUV was the first one to try out Hyundai Group's revolutionary eGMP platform. For the Ionic 5, this debut turned out beyond successful, earning the model a triple crown from the prestigious World Car of the Year Award in 2022. Inspired by the iconic pony hatchback, it introduces a neo-retro design language with sharp edges and square off light signatures. The trim selection was simplified to the battery capacity and number of motors. A single rear or dual motor all-wheel drive powertrain could be coupled with either a 58 or a 72.6 kWh packs with 256 and 303 miles of range respectively. This SUV introduces a new interior concept of relaxed mobility. Namely, there are two zero-gravity, fully relaxing slim seats in the front, power sliding rear seats, in cabin vehicle to load port and the latest 12 inch infotainment and digital cluster. Genesis G80 Electrified The electric version of Genesis mid range sedan uses the old internal combustion underpinnings 
but manages to convert them to the 800V architecture for the fast charging capability. From the outside, the GAD Electrified is distinguished by a new crest grille, 19-inch turbine-shaped wheels, and an exclusive Matera blue exterior. The drivetrain is represented by two motors with the all-wheel drive capability, but the retrofitted chassis cannot hold too many batteries, so the total capacity is 87 kWh. If you can get access to a 350 kW station, replenishing the pack to 80% is possible in 22 minutes. This means that the rather moderate range of 265 miles will not be an issue. The cabin of the model uses naturally dyed leather, PET fabrics and recycled wood, and it also gets a sophisticated dark green two-tone color scheme. There is a new 14.5-inch infotainment paired with the Genesis touch controller, a 12.3-inch 3D cluster, and a touch control AC panel. Kia EV6 Following the tradition, Kia remains the most performance-focused brand from Korea, and EV6 is their new electric flagship. It introduces the next-generation digital tiger face, aggressive coupe-like profile, and a full-length light bar in the rear. The EV6 promises rear and all-wheel drive systems, two battery options, and the maximum range of 316 miles. Moreover, there is a special GT trim that becomes the most powerful and quickest Kia ever built. It rides on 21-inch alloys with neon brake calipers. The 585-horsepower all-wheel drive powertrain is enhanced with the electronic limited-slip differential and an electric controlled suspension. The EV6 GT targets 0 to 62 acceleration in 3.5 seconds, and its top speed is 162 miles per hour. The cabin of the EV6 is simple and clutterless. There are two 12-inch screens handling driver's information on multimedia, suede trimmed bucket seats, and a two-spoke steering wheel. Smash the like button to support the transition to electric cars. We are definitely winning this fight. Thanks for your support and let's proceed. Hyundai Ioniq 7 Just like the 45 concept that previewed the Ioniq 5 crossover, the 7 gives us a glimpse into the future, which will be the 2024 Ioniq 7. The Korean brand promises that the production version will carry many of its tweaks. Namely, the pixel LED lighting is here to stay, and same is true for the new Hyundai badge and the overall shape of the SUV. A massive light bar built into a flat tailgate is also expected to make it to the assembly line. What you should not expect to see in the production version of the upcoming Ioniq 7 is the concept's L-shaped third row of seats, pillarless coach doors, panoramic OLED display on the roof, or the camera-reliant exterior mirrors. The powertrain numbers remain not detailed, but the production version eyes 300 miles of range and recharging at 350 kilowatts. Genesis GV70 Electrified Unlike the original electro crossover by Genesis GV60, this compact luxury SUV is more of an electric retrofit. Instead of getting a dedicated eGMP, this Genesis keeps the internal combustion platform. The battery modules, however, do have the appropriate architecture of 800V and support vehicle-to-load charging capability. The CV keeps the two-line quad-lamp sliding signature and a G-matrix pattern but the grill is surely closed off. The GV70 Electrified is likely to get multiple versions, but for now, we only have concrete data on the flagship trim with 300 miles and a 486 horsepower dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain. As a proper luxury make, the GV70 Electrified gets posh natural leather and 30% wool fabric seats, widescreen infotainment, Lexicon sound system, and a level 2 autonomy tech. Kia EV9 
The next electric vehicle from Kia will be a full-sized crossover SUV that is previewed by the EV9 concept. The latter is a blocky three-row that looks like the current generation Kia Soul, but this time on steroids. It has a new digital tiger face, pixel-type LED headlights with vertical DRLs, and a transparent roof. The hood of the EV9 houses a solar panel, while the roof is fitted with retractable rails for hauling gear. There are also bolt wheel arches and massive 23-inch three-spoke wheels. This model is built on the new eGMP platform, which means fast charging at 350 kW, 300 miles of range, and both single and dual motor drivetrain configurations. The interior of the concept looks rather futuristic. There are six floating seats, a huge 27-inch display, and a yoke-style steering wheel. Hyundai Kona Electric Facelifted as a 2022 model, the electric Kona adopts an even more outworldly exterior design with a couple of EV-specific tweaks. The closed-off grille is redesigned, there are new LED DRLs, the headlights were reshaped, while the rear lights stretched. There are new wheel designs, and the crossover grows by 1.6 inches in length. As before, Hyundai Kona is powered by a combo of a 204 HP motor and a 64 kWh battery with 258 EPA miles. In Europe, the lesser capacity Kona Electric with a 40 kWh battery continues to be on sale. On the interior front, you should notice the all-new 10.25-inch driver's instrument cluster and an optional infotainment of the same size with the updated software, Blue Link, and Hyundai Life Services. In case you go for the standard 8-inch infotainment, it is updated with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. With an available convenience package, the car offers wireless charging for your phone, a sunroof, and heated front seats. Genesis Expedium Coupe in order to become a fully legitimate luxury brand, sooner or later, Genesis will have to add a two-door coupe to its tables. Evidently, the Expedium concept is giving us the preview of this posh grand tour of the electric era, and hopefully it will keep the emotional value of driving. This freestyle design exercise introduces a progressive take on the Genesis athletic elegance and presumably was inspired by the Korean racetrack. The concept's metallic emerald green shade is referred to as an e-green, and it is reminiscent of the mountainous landscapes where the track is located. Hyundai Ioniq 6 Already contesting on the streets, the second EV of the Hyundai Ioniq subbrand will be revealed by the end of this year. What we can already tell is that the model will be an elegant four-door with a coupe-like profile inspired by the Prophecy concept. The production version is expected to borrow the latter's new generation lighting with pixel LEDs, smooth bodywork, and aerodynamic turbine wheels. However, on the final version of the 6, we are not likely to see the air-enhancing integrated rear spoiler. The car is set to possess perfect proportions, while its cabin will be shooting for a Porsche-like feel. We have no confirmed info about the specifications, but it should be a dual-motor all-wheel drive with at least 300 horses and 300 miles. It is time to make up your mind about the Korean electric cars. I do believe that they should be on your shopping list if you're buying an EV in 2022 and beyond. Do you agree? And if so, which model is your favorite? If not, Tell us why. The discussion is taking place in the comment section. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like this episode, and watch more. As always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!